हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल आर यू ओके आई होप सो नाउ आई वाज रियली एक्साइटेड टू सी यू हियर इन ग्रेड एट विथ इंग्लिश बुक ओके आर यू एक्साइटेड टू लर्न इंग्लिश गुड ओके टुडे इन आवर लेसन वी विल स्टार्ट यूनिट टू आर यू रेडी very good very good okay now in our class today we will cover some contents from unit 2 those contents are getting started and reading one okay first we'll do getting started under getting started we practice asking for permission or we will practice what people may say for permission okay based on the pictures given in book similarly in reading one first reading we will do reading after that crossword puzzle given in your book and then identifying purpose of remark similarly short answer question and then finally further discussion on asking for permission are you ready very good okay get your book ready and whatever other material you need get them ready okay let's start okay let's start with getting started can you see in the picture what is there yes okay page number 13 of your book there are some pictures and above picture what is written there let's read yes look at the pictures and guess what permission these people might be asking for just look at the picture and guess okay they may be asking for permission what permission they require they may be asking or might be asking for example the first picture what can you say what permission might the boy be asking he is at the door he wants to go out is it so well then what permission he may be asking for can you say permission yes to go out he might be asking for permission to go out good well similarly in second picture now the girl is raising hand well she may be asking for permission what permission she may be asking for can you say yes she might be asking for permission to go out she might be asking for permission to say something good well there is teacher teaching and she is raising hand means she might be asking for permission to say something is it so good similarly in the third picture here what do you see there are two men talking probably one is asking for permission to do something what is it what can you say well she is outside uh, outside the door and then another woman is here what might she be asking yes she might be asking for permission to say something about this thing she is going to sell it or she is telling something about it okay well and last picture now the boy is what is he doing opening the gate another boy is here now he may be asking for permission to do something what is that something he may be asking for permission to get into the gate okay good he might be asking for permission to enter the gate enter into the gate okay good very good okay they are asking for various permissions good now let's come to reading one in reading one what is given in the beginning story the pictures below and answer these questions okay now there are two pictures given these pictures are in your passage 
are they yes of course well now there are a question two questions the first one is question a is where do you think the boy in the first picture is where do you think the boy is here where do you think he is in his room similarly near a park good just guess okay where do you think the boy is in a bus in a train is it so good he's taking view he's looking outside means probably he's in his room he is in a bus in a train somewhere is it so great okay now next one number b or question b what do you see in the second picture what is it just guess what is it is it a bus no is it a house no is it a train good yes it may be a train okay have you ever seen it okay it is picture of train isn't it good well now let's go to reading reading lesson okay okay good now what is the title see read it out loudly good a father's letter to his son a father's letter to his son let's read it in a city, a boy lived with his parents. His grandparents used to live far away in another city. The parents would take their son to his grandparents' house during summer holidays every year. They would stay there for 15 to 20 days and then return. The boy always loved visiting there. This continued every year okay where did they used to go during summer vacation okay the boy's grandparents house okay well grandparents where did the grandparents live close to their house no far away very good in another city far away isn't it okay so now did the boy love to visit his grandparents yes he loved to visit now next paragraph well with time the boy grew up one day the young boy said to his parents now i'm big i can go to my grandparents house alone is it okay if i go on my own Please let me go by myself. His parents refused at first, but when the boy insisted, finally they agreed. His parents were worried about his safety. So they taught him everything he needed to know about traveling alone. Why did they teach everything about traveling alone? Yes, they were worried about his safety. Okay. Well, see some of the words here. Refuse, that is highlighted, isn't it? Do you know what it means? Yes, refuse means? Okay, refuse means decline a request or demand or reject it. Okay. Refuse something means not accept it. Is it so? Next one insisted the boy insisted means what they refused but the boy insisted finally they agreed is given here isn't it so insisted means okay it means demanded or claimed something forcefully okay sometime when you want to go somewhere your parents don't give you permission and that time you insist on going don't you okay good now why did the boy insist on going to his grandparents what is his argument yes he is big now he is not a small boy he said didn't he okay can you say that his parents love him yes why 
How can you say so? Yes, they were worried about his safety, weren't they? Yes, well, they were worried about his safety, means they loved him a lot. So they were worried about his safety. Is it so? Good. Okay, next paragraph. The boy wanted to enjoy his stay with his grandparents. He wanted to take some of his stuff. He asked his mother, Mom, this is summer. I'd like to take my swimming goggles and swimming suit. May I take them, please? The mother said, Okay, but always go swimming with your grandparents. He said, Don't worry, Mom. He loved his grandparents a lot. He wanted to take some gifts for them and said, would it be all right if I took sunglasses and mufflers for them? She smiled and said that it was a good idea. Okay. Now, the boy wanted to take some gift to his grandparents. Is his mother happy towards it? Yes. Why? Because he said good idea. Didn't see. Well, now, let's see some of the words used here. Now, stuff. He wanted to take some of his stuff. Stuff means what? What is it? Okay. It's various items or objects. When you are traveling, you take some of the stuffs with you. Okay. See here, a picture. When you are traveling, you get everything ready. This sort of clothes and everything. Don't you? These are all your stuff. Okay. Similarly, another word, goggles. What is it? Goggles means protective eyewear set. Okay. Well, here you can see picture. Okay. That fits into your eyes. On your eyes. Okay. That fits here. Sometimes there are swimming goggles. Here, swimming goggles is given, isn't it? When you swim, you can put it on so that it protects your eyes. Is it so? Similarly, another word is here. The boy wants to take sunglasses and mufflers for his grandparents. So, sunglasses, well, that is also like goggles, but that is a bit different. That is, sunglasses means glasses that protects the eyes from the sun. Have you seen it? Well, you can see here. Okay. So, goggles and sunglasses, somehow similar, okay, both are eyewear, but sunglasses are used to protect your eyes from the sun. Well, similarly, mufflers, do you know what mufflers mean? Okay, it means pieces of, pieces of cloth to keep your neck warm. For example, you can see here, picture. Or this is my muffler, see? I can put it on. Now, I can keep my neck warm. Is it so? Well, these mufflers. So, this sort of clothes, cloth items, that is mufflers, plural. Okay. Now, next. Next paragraph. The day came when the boy was to leave for his grandparents' house alone. His parents came with the boy to see him off. When the boy was comfortably settled in his berth in the train, his parents left and waited for the train to depart. While waiting, the father went to the window and kept talking to his son. While talking, his father handed him an envelope through the window and said, Son, if you feel afraid or scared on the way, open this and read it. It will help you to calm down. Okay. The boy kept that envelope safely in his pocket and said goodbye to his parents. A departure announcement was made. The boy smiled 
and told his father, I remember everything. Don't worry, the train got a signal to depart. Okay. Now, here there are some words, several words. Okay, let's see what they mean. Do you know what settled mean? Well, when the boy was comfortably settled in his birth. Now, settled means what? Okay, adjusted or sat comfortably. That is settled. Settled in the train. Is it so? Settled in his birth. What is birth? B-E-R-T-S. Not B-I-R-T-S. B-E-R-T-S birth means, well, a place to sleep on a train. Okay? Inside train, there is place to sit and sleep. So, that place is called birth. Okay? Well, now the boy settled in his birth in the train. Similarly, another word, depart. What does depart mean? Depart mean to leave a place. Okay? When you are going somewhere, you depart from your place and go to your destination. Go to the place you want to go. Is it so? Good. Well, similarly, another word is handed. Handed means? Well, here, while talking, his father handed him an envelope through the window. Okay. Handed means? What is it? Good. Very good. It means give something to somebody. Okay. Hand means to give. Handed, gave something to somebody that is handed. Well, another word, departure. Departure means, well, here you learn the word depart. Depart means to leave a place. Departure means the act of departing or leaving a place. Okay? The process of leaving a place is departure. And then finally, announcement. Okay. Now, announcement that is? An act of giving notice. Okay? Departure announcement means announcement or notice of departure. Plane, plane or let's say train leaving. Okay. Now, now are the parents who worried about his journey, the boy's journey, their son's journey? Yes, they are worried. Why? Yes, they came to the station, left the boy in the train and then went. Did they? Yes. Well, now, next. At every station where the train stopped, people kept coming and going. The boy was observing all this. He saw that everyone was with someone and so on started feeling lonely. Okay. At one station, a big man entered the compartment. The boy was scared of him. He tried to sleep but could not because he kept on thinking of the big man. He got even more scared. Then he remembered his father's letter. He put his hand into his pocket, opened the envelope and read the letter. Okay. His father had written, Don't be afraid. I am here with you on this train in the adjacent compartment. Just after reading that letter, the boy's face lit off and all the fear vanished. Okay. See, some of the words here, the highlighted ones here, compartment, that is a word compartment. Well, what is given? At one station, a big man entered the compartment, okay? Into the train, train, in the compartment. What is compartment? Yes, okay, a room, a section in a train, okay? There are various compartments in a train. So, one of the room is compartment, isn't it? Okay. Well, next, adjacent. Adjacent, what is it? Adjacent means 
next to something ok next to something when two houses are together one is next to another adjacent to one another here you can see in the picture this is hotel ok this is hotel this is house this is also house two houses and one hotel means the hotel is adjacent to this house is it adjacent means next to ok now next lit of what does lit up mean see here just after reading that letter the boy's face lit up means ok became bright illuminated became happy ok face when you are happy your face lights up does not it well light up past tense is lit up so became happy became bright illuminated that is lit up ok and finally the word is vanished vanished ok what does it mean well see here just after the boy was scared was not he yes he was afraid of the big man now just after reading that letter the boy's face lit up and all the fear vanished means disappear suddenly or here disappear is written it, it, it is in past tense so disappeared you can say disappeared suddenly ok disappear past this is in past so you can say disappeared suddenly that is vanished ok well now the boy is traveling is he happy while traveling yes some of you are saying happy some of you are saying no not happy why is he happy yes he is excited to meet his grandparents and why is he unhappy yes one big man entered the compartment and the boy was scared was not he and finally what made him happy yes his father's letter ok good now well now come to exercise ok the first exercise here is solve the crossword puzzle with the help of the given meanings can you do it let us give it a try ok everyone please with your pen or pencil ok you can write your book ok well let us start ok let us start this ok you can get the words easily because the words we have read before ok the meaning you have read before come here ok for example now let us start with across the words to be filled across first one here number two ok beginning with the box number two next to something next to something means what is it very good adjacent ok a d j a c e and t adjacent similarly another word give something to somebody give something to somebody is very good handed ok now where do you write number 7 across number 7 h a n d e d handed ok next a pair of glasses to protect eyes from sun what is it beginning with s sunglasses ok sunglasses spell it s u n g l a s s e s sunglasses ok now come to this down a place to sleep on a train or a ship what is it birth good can you do it yourself? Yes, you can write here 
Number one down here. B E R T S birth. B E R T is already there. Now H birth. Can you come to this way? To leave a place, what is it? Depart. Good. A section on a train. What is it? Everyone please loudly. Compartment. Good. A thick piece of clothes to keep your neck warm. Muffler. Good. Disappear suddenly. Vanished. Is it? To demand something forcefully. Insist it. A group of objects. What is it? A group of objects. Stop. Good. Can you do it? Very good. Do it yourself. Okay. Okay. Now here group of objects. You can do. Well, very good. Now let's come to another. That is another exercise B. Okay. Write who made these remarks and for what purpose? Who said it and for what purpose they said it? Okay. A. Now one remark. Is it okay if I go on my own? Well, who said it? Now go to the reading, go back to the reading and find out here. Okay, in this paragraph, the boy said, Is it okay if I go on my own? The boy said, Okay, who said it? The boy. For what purpose? Yes, to ask for permission to go on his own to his grandparents' house. Is it so? Good. Next remark. Okay. Please let me go by myself. Who said it? See here. Find it. Where is it in the text? Okay. Please let me go by myself. Who said it? Again, the boy. Very good. The boy said it. For what purpose? Please let me go by myself means that is also to ask for permission to go on his own, to go alone to his grandparents' house. Is it so? Next one. Third one. May I take them please? Who said it? Here you can see. Where is it? In the text. May I take them please? Okay. Who said it? Well, uh, here I would like to take my swimming goggles and swimming suit. May I take them please? Who said? Again the boy. For what purpose? To ask for permission to take things with him. Okay, these things with him. Next, number D or statement D. That is, okay, but always go swimming with your grandparents. Who said it? Who said it? The boy's mother. Yes? For what purpose? Well, to grant permission to the boy. Okay? Okay, but go swimming with your grandparents. Okay? To grant permission, to give permission. Okay? And there is suggestion also. Go swimming with your grandparents. Isn't it? Similarly, the last one, would it be alright if I took sunglasses and mufflers for them? Who said it? Yes, it's here. Yes, the boy said it. For what purpose? To ask for permission to take some gift for his grandparents. Good, very good. You did very well. Now, let's come to another. Questions are there, some questions. Okay. Well, where did the boy want to visit? How long would the boy live with his grandparents? Why did the parents not want to let him go alone first? Do you think that the boy was loving and caring? What did the boy tell his father before the announcement? And finally, why do you think the boy felt relaxed at last? Okay, let's do. Where did the boy want to visit? Easy. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. The boy... Okay, you can see here. Okay, now I'm big. I can go to my grandparents' house alone. 
is it okay if I go on my own? Please let me go by myself. So, where does he want to go? Or where did he want to go? To his grandparents' house. Okay. Now, here the boy wanted to visit his grandparents' house. Or for short, you can write, the, where did the boy want to visit? His grandparents' house, you can write. Okay. Good. If you write full sentence, the boy wanted to visit his grandparents' house. Next. Next question. How long would the boy live with his grandparents? In the beginning, you can see. Can you? Okay. Now, they would take him, parents would take him to grandparents' house and they would stay there for 15 to 20 days and then return. The boys always loved visiting there. Means, how long? Okay. What is it? Yes, the boy would live with his grandparents for 15 to 20 days. Is it so? So, 15 to 20 days is the answer. Next. Why did the parents not want to let him go alone first? Why? Can you find it? Yes, mark there. Mark where the answer is. Yes, it's here. His parents refused at first, but when the boy insisted, finally they agreed. His parents were worried about his safety. So, why did the parents not want to let him go alone? Because they were worried about him. Well, the parents did not let him go alone because, first, because they were worried about his safety. Well, next, do you think that the boy was loving and caring? What do you think? Yes? Yes. How can you say this? How can you say that the boy was loving and caring? Yes. Okay, here. The boy wanted to enjoy his stay with his grandparents. So, you want to spend time with the loving people, with the people whom you love. Is it so? Next, he loved his grandparents a lot. He wanted to take some gifts for them and said, would it be all right if I took some glasses and mufflers? He said, didn't he? So, this is what answer is. Yes, I think he is loving and caring because he wanted to take sunglasses and mufflers for his grandparents. Okay? And you can also add he, wa he wanted to spend time with his grandparents. That is also possible, but here, better try it. Well, he wants to take some gift for them. Okay? Well, next is what did the boy tell his father before the announcement? What did he say? What is it? Well, he said, I remember everything, don't worry. Well, here, before is given, but in question, but he said it after uh, the departure announcement, wasn't it? The, a departure announcement was made, the boy smiled and told his father is given, isn't it? So, here you can use after, okay? And then, answer this question. What did he say? Now, the boy told his father not to worry, worry about him because he remembered everything that his father told him to do. Well, finally, uh, last question, why do you think the boy felt relaxed at last? Why did he feel relaxed at last? Okay, here he, he read the letter and after reading his letter, reading the letter, he found that his father was there. Good, good, good. Now, that is, the boy felt relaxed at last because he came to know from the letter that his father was also in the same train in the adjacent compartment, next compartment. Good. You did very well. Now, finally, there is one task, one more task to do. If you were the boy, what else would you ask your parents to take with you? Talk to your friend. Okay, suppose you are boy, that boy, and you are going to visit your grandparents. Okay, now things to take, things to take to my, to my grandparents. Now, here, you can make list first, 
and then start talking about it. For example, think about your grandparents. Okay? Then, what do they prefer? What do they like? For example, you can say, I would take one bottle of Horlicks. Let's say, I'll take Horlicks. Horlicks. Similarly, you can write warm clothes. Similarly, others, what do you want to take? Well, if your parent, if you, if your parents need towards light, okay, light, you want to take one towards light for them, okay, to go somewhere at night. Well, you can make a list here, cloth, okay, for your grandfather, cloth for your grandmother. Similarly, if you want to take one mobile phone for them, okay, you can make a list. What do you want to take for them? as a gift okay you can make a list of these things here okay and tell your friends about it can you do okay you can do very good very good okay now we came to the end of this lesson okay in today's lesson we talk about pictures and did one reading okay we completed one reading and did some exercises based on it okay well, I hope you will practice it further and learn a lot of things from this lesson, more things about this lesson, okay? And don't forget to practice this speaking, okay? Talking to your friends. Can you do it? Good. Okay, next time we'll see you again waiting for English class. So till then, have a good time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.